In this video, let's see another subtopic based on the chapter of determinants that we are studying. The topic is named as properties of determinants. Now we already know what are determinants and we have seen few numerical problems related to the same. In this video, we are going to start with this fresh topic called as properties of determinants and in this video, we have the first property written over here. Let's see what the property has to say and we'll be studying in detail. The property says the value of determinant remains unchanged if rows and columns are interchanged. That means as in a matrix that we had, if we used to interchange the rows with columns, we would say it was the transpose of a matrix. Here also, if we change the rows and columns, with each other in the case of determinant what happens is that the value of determinant does not change at all let's see how to prove this thing we'll be taking a standard general form of determinant we have a determinant say del and that determinant is having a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 c3 as its rows now, what do you need to do to evaluate this determinant? You need to basically expand. So, let's expand along row 1, R1. If we do the same, what we have? We have row 1 as A1, A2, A3. You want to expand it, that means you are going to take A1 into consideration and you eliminate or ignore the row and column corresponding to it. So, eliminating first row, first column, you have a subdeterminant and that is b2, b3, c2, c3. I will not be writing the subdeterminant this time because we have already practiced few videos and few videos the problems. So it is basically what this subdeterminant and you have to cross multiply to evaluate. So it becomes b2, c3 minus b3, c2. This we know, right? Now, you again move to the second element which is A2 since it is the second element and we go in the order as plus minus plus. We have this as minus. You must be knowing this because you watched the previous videos. A2 is here and you have what? You have ignored the second column first row. So, you have B1, B3, C1, C3. Now B1, B3, C1, C3 cross multiplication should be there. It is B1, C3 minus B3, C1. Right? This is how we are going about it. Next is what? Next you take into consideration A3 element. That means you will be writing plus A3 and in the bracket you would be having something wherein you ignore the third column first row. You have B1, B2, C1, C2 cross multiply the subdeterminant to evaluate B1, C2 minus b2 c1 right this is the case when you have del del is a determinant given to me with a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 c3 as the rows now if the story changes a bit now if i don't have del rather i have del1 and del1 is such that the rows and columns are what they are interchanged that means what that means i have a1, A2, A3 not as the first row here but as the first column. So it is A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3. See the change that things which were earlier rows have become columns. Now what to do? Let's evaluate. First we were evaluating through row 1, expanding through row 1. Here A1, A2, A3 were there. This time, where is A1, A2, A3? It is in the column 1. So, we are going to expand along the column 1. So, I write expand along C1, which is column 1. Understood? So, what is the sign? First of all, you need to see this should be plus. This element is what? It is second row, first column. So, 2 plus 1 is 3, which is odd. So, it is minus and this is plus. Right? So, sign is clear. Let's start. A1 will be here, expanding along the first column, remove the first column, remove the first row, you are left with the subdeterminant comprising of these four elements. Cross multiply, it is B2 C3 minus B3 C2. Now you have minus A2, so you write minus A2 
in the bracket what is there let's see second row ignore first column ignore left b1 c1 b3 c3 cross multiply b1 c3 so it is b1 c3 minus b3 c1 last but not the least you have plus a3 so you have plus a3 let's write it here only plus a3 then ignore third row ignore first column you have b1 c1 b2 c2 so it is b1 c2 minus b2 c1 now match if it matches and you'll come to know the conclusion so it is a1 in the bracket what is there same thing there minus a2 same thing there and in last but not the least plus a3 b1 c2 and all same thing here so these things match these are equal since these are equal i say del and del 1 you write del here you write del 1 here so you have del is equal to del 1 that means even if you change the rows and the columns together you interchange them of any determinant the value of the determinant does not change